Welcome back. The weather here on the wet coast has finally turned. It's back to the rainy season. It's gray, cool, and rainy. But that's not a problem because on, here on Little Bear, there's always something to do. And a day on the boat is always better than a day in the office. So we're going to carry on where we left off and keep working. I stopped by the RV store today and picked up some goodies. This is a sink drain for the head. The old sink drain, this collar here, was completely corroded and locked in place. So the only way I could get the old drain out was to uh, basically peel the lip back from the inside and drop it out. So it's a $10 plumbing piece. And for the fresh water intake on the head, I wanted to get a U. I wanted a nice you, but I couldn't find one, so I basically cobbled one together out of uh, various bits and pieces. Got uh, two 90s, which make an 80, and then I got a couple of hose barbs that fit, and I had to get that piece because the the 90 doesn't have female on both sides, so it's not pretty. And in the world of mods. Over on Sail Life, it's not spiffy, but it'll work. If it looks stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. So that's what I've got going on in terms of new stuff. I'm going to uh, prepare the cabinetry for the control panels for the new electrosan. There's uh, two pieces the on off switch and the readout that tells you what's going on in the electroscan unit. Those need to be mounted properly. I need to put the cabinetry back in place, which I'm going to do. And that should not take too long. So all in all, it should be a reasonably productive day. And then I'm going to go back to the Yacht Club and I'm going to work on the oak panel that I put in the in behind the companionway here. There's a little gap underneath there. I want to fill it up. I think I have enough oak left over to accomplish that. So I'm going to attempt to accomplish that. I'm also working on my dinghy seat. I will show you where I'm at on that too. Okay, so let's get busy. This is why I need that Frankenstein configuration of PVC. The, the new seacock is a little bit taller than the old one. And when it comes through the cabinetry right here, it has to attach to this fitting right here. So I could force it and bend it like so, but that's going to put considerable stress on the hose right here. And of course, this is a three quarter inch hole to the water outside. So if it splits when the uh, seacock is open, it wouldn't be very good. So I want to reduce as much stress on this as I possibly can. So I want to I want to put this in here like this so that instead of having to do two 90 degree turns I can just do one but that may be too long I'll fight with it and see looking pretty good. I cut this hose short so I could get the 
PVC barb into it. I configured the the 90 degree or the 180 degree, so the stress on the hose here is reduced. And I used PVC cement to lock everything in place. I didn't want to trust the the threaded connections not to come loose, so I just glued them. In the future, if I have to take that off, of course, it's going to be a little bit of a problem, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I can heat the hose up, take that piece out, and then put new new hose in or whatever I need, and re just put that back in. I need to get hose clamps for there and there, and then that's done. The light just went out, which means my generator just died. It's a basically a new Honda 2000 and it uh, runs really rough and stalls. I'm running 94 octane gas in it, so it shouldn't be doing that. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but there you go. So the piece of cabinetry that encloses the uh, electrosan unit and the electronics, I was going to cut holes in it to mount the uh, start-stop um, button and the control panel. But it's already got a hole cut in it for the old electrosan unit, and it's I can't I can't reuse that. And the hole that was cut for the hose here was in the wrong place. It's actually too far over. And then it had a hole cut over here for the old plumbing. So I thought rather than do a shoddy job, I will get a piece of plywood and replace the whole thing. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to head over to the shop and I'm going to take the piece of cabinetry with me and hopefully I'll be able to scrounge up a piece of decent uh, plywood, cut it to shape, and I will bring it back tomorrow. In the meantime, it's time to go to the shop. Here we are back at the shop. This is my new dinghy seat. And the process that I have used for it is to take some foam. I put... Uh, two layers of biaxial fiberglass on this side, and I put two layers of biax on this side with an additional layer of heavier biax underneath to give it some, some strength. So when it gets set on, it's going to be nice and strong. Then I ran the, the edge of the, the seat through the table saw to make it square, and then I created a one-eighth inch divot, if you will, I don't know what you call it, on the table saw. I just ran it back and through, forth through the table saw to create a, a trough. And I will fill this up with bog. Bog is a mixture of fiberglass and whatever else you can get in there, like uh, these are filler. That's 406 West and 404. These are filler and whatever else I can find. And that will strengthen the edge and it'll also give me enough bulk to be able to uh, round it off right you don't want these square edges against your skin because glass will cut so that's what I'm doing right now I'm going to mix up some bog and put it in I'll probably do one one side and one end and then once that kicks off I will do the other side and the other end and the reason for that is because if you put the fiberglass down on a surface it's going to stick to it never get it up so that's what i'm going to do first and then i am going to work on the uh, cabinetry for the head i've got a nice piece of plywood which i'll show you in a minute hang on
This is the piece of plywood for the cabinetry in front of the electrosan. It's got the old switch on it, and you can see down here the where the fresh water intake or raw water intake for the head comes through. It's in the wrong spot. And this hole here is now unnecessary. I don't need it anymore. So rather than try and repair the holes, I've got myself a nice new piece of plywood which I will take back to the boat and cut the hose holes out and cut a couple of new holes for the uh, the switch and the control panel and then I'll probably paint it paint it nice white sand it and paint it so it looks good but that's a job for another day so for tonight I wish you fair winds, following seas, and God bless.